Yeah, he's not eating, dude. Yeah. But but that's like that's not two hundred cal- calories. Yeah, that's not caloric. I just dense. need something in my stomach. Be drinking Slim Fast. I'm, slim fast I'm getting dense. Slim Fast right now. Well, it's got more than like insured. That's like if you drink that if you're like hungover. If you just want a meal in a bottle, yeah, you should drink Slim Fast. Well, I was going to get a muscle milk, but they didn't have one at the bodega. Mm. Wow. What about yeah. br- bone broths? Yeah, I I should go in for some of that. Isn't that what Rocky drinks when he has cancer in Creed? That's what anorexic girls drink. They were talking. Yeah. Oh, um, no, so then you don't want that. You know what, dude? Let me make you Let me make you milkshakes. I've been doing a lot of shakes. Fuck, because you can just drink it, you know. I wish I could eat for you. Um, anyway, anyway let's welcome to Come Town. Um, we're trying to get, we're trying to plump Adam up, make him fucking so fat. Yeah, stop. Have you ever been? Stop has been getting into uh, like a <laughs> feeder fetish. Feeder, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dude, honestly, it would be. Imagine fat me. It'd be hilarious. That would be awesome. Yeah. Just the, yeah, load up on like you just gotta combine carbs and fats. I would just honest. I would look like a. F to M if I got fat. You really you know how would. they have like you childbearing really hips? You really would. You know how they like <laughs> <laughs> You know how they still kind of have the the yes. lady hips? They can't get rid of it. They all have kind of your voice and my voice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do you you have an F to M. You your whole vibe is F to M, dude. I have an F to M vibe. Do, for lunch you should get like make some spaghetti <laughs> and then melt half a stick of butter in it. Yes. With some it's like melt, get some like garlic. Someone mm-hmm. told me um, minced garlic, and then just melt that down in butter and olive oil yes. on a saucepan. Yes. yes. Someone told me Seven Eleven donuts are like a thousand calories or something, and they taste like air. Nice. Yeah. Well, you need to fuck up your insulin levels too. Yeah, so I should do that too. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to like, yeah, a lot of like candy, maybe like have that, and then have like a <sighs> bunch of sweets right after. <laughs> so the get the Seven Eleven donuts, but you want to eat like the have that butter spaghetti first. Oh. It's so funny. Stav and I went out for breakfast like a week ago, and I just could not eat. He was just laughing at me. He's like, "We're like that complete opposite." Complete opposite. Yeah. No, I Whatever. get that. When I'm like sad, I like not. Yeah. I mean, it makes you hot. It's great. No, I well, get. I me, can't dude. stop eating. I'm like 130 I'm pounds right now. No, That's insane. Yeah, yeah. Whores love whores around here. Love that little sickly just, bitch vibe. They, they do just, like that shit. Yeah. Start dressing in like striped pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holocaust style. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing about the Holocaust is they wore those pajamas because the vertical stripes were were slimming. Oh. They didn't actually really get that skinny in the. Camps. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Jewish propaganda. Wow. They're naked in the photos. I well, in the photos, it's you. You still imply the vertical stripes. Yeah, that's only the hot ones that got naked. Yeah, the hot ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, zebras are actually fat horses. Dude, Max, Max texted me a couple of months ago, and it made me laugh so hard. But he sent me a picture of like. Dudes in the in the camps in the barracks like emaciated, and he just said no homo, <laughs> <laughs> just like naked. <laughs> it killed me. <laughs> that killed me. Your cock probably looks as big as it's ever gonna look when you're emaciated. To be fair, I don't know, dude. I th- I think like isn't your cock just an organ? Like, I wish your cock. You got need fatter. to have a good diet, and it's not. To like get the adequate blood flow to get like a nice, but I just mean soft. Bonaire. It'll hang the nicest when you're you just eat a lot of beets. Beets increases the nitric oxide in your blood. Mm. I feel like you're shitting out blood. It and loosens you your, the beets. Your your your. I found all this out when I was uh, your heart. You yeah, thought your heart was going to explode. Out how my heart. I remember you were making out. that weird beet garlic like puree that you were eating. Yeah. Well, I was using that as like a pasta sauce alternative. It wasn't bad, mm-hmm. really. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, um, garlic, garlic beets, olive oil. This is to make your cock look big when you're emaciated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so don't, but you don't want to do that. You want to just stick a butter, some mm-hmm. minced garlic. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of onion powder. Man, I honestly, can't I feel like what. I feel like I need Elvis has got his life together. But I feel like we need to get the team back together mm-hmm. to fatten you up. The Fat because Boy Squad. Wi- one weekend of uh-huh. me and Eldis in the zone. The four Chinese a day. <laughs> the four Chinese four, a day. Four seamless Two Ben Chinese. and Jerry's. Yeah. Two ben, one for lunch, one for dinner. Mm-hmm. We got to get the team back together. Food is brother. just making me sick right now. Uh, yeah, ice cream. Ice cream is good for that. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I guess it's soft. Yeah, no, I mean, you really should be trying to eat right now, like as much candy and Damn. like. 
Yeah, just like really high fuck. GI stuff to really fuck up your insulin levels. Is and and that'll make you gain weight. It'll make you gain weight because your your body will be like Uh-oh. you'll have. I didn't. I wasn't sure if you're more or less insulin sensitivity. I can't remember which, but it'll cause your body to store more as fat if you're just eating just sugar constantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll do that. Just give this man some. Candy. Honestly, I just need to get. You can it'll, suck my it'll, nuts. It'll, it'll I just need to get to the rack, partitioning. dude. I just need to. I just need to hop in the YMCA. You could mm-hmm. suck my penis because it's very sweet. It's too late for that. The, the idea of building muscle mean? is kind of the ship has sailed. on <laughs> That's that. not true. There's such a thing as muscle memory. I can get my muscles yeah, back anytime. Have, there's nothing for it to remember. <laughs> no, I had muscular muscle memory. It's a myth. I had muscular phases, <laughs> like the Holocaust. Your I had muscular phases. Is. Everyone knows this about me. <laughs> yeah, that I am periodically it's an muscular. Epigenetic predisposition to a fake history. So well, it's true. There's nothing for it to remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. What was what are the best like? Because you've had periods where you've done like strength training. What's like the best? What are your best lifts? On like bench, sure, bench and squat. Nothing, dude. Like one forty. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's no muscle memory there. There's no muscle memory. Yeah, but it looks like I have muscles because I'm so skinny. I look cut. I just look like a nice twink, you know. You do like look a nice like a nice cut twink. twink. And here's the what's the problem with that? Yeah, then just walk around being way. a nice little twink. If you're happy with that. I'm not happy with this right now because people are like, "Are you are you sick?" But yeah, you but keep, that's you're only saying people. You look nice though. That's only I don't look nice. I look nice when I have some muscle on me. You'd never have muscle on you. That's not true. People yeah, know this. I don't, don't know what have you're muscle. talking about. You say you look cut, but I don't. Do you remember <laughs> when I like before we started the pod and I'm I no. moved home for a month? No, no. And I went to the gym every day. No, no, I don't. I don't remember no. that at all. I'll show you pics, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall you ever. I don't think you've ever listened. Anything close to what I would I'm not saying you're not cute. I'm not saying you're not a pussy getting motherfucker. I appreciate it. But what I'm saying is. I fuck. I fuck. You are not and have never had any muscle. All right. Well, you're probably right about that. But. And there's nothing wrong with that. You look like. You know what? It would be nice to grab you by the hips and just split your ass wide open. That's the vibe you just go gay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I think you should go billionaire pedophile And then yeah. don't forget your friends. Honestly <laughs> That's right dude Fly us out Fly us out Honestly <laughs> You guys are kids. We on, won't fuck the kids But we want You guys are on the fucking flight logs I got my boys Thank on the you. flight logs Anytime you want I'm just, signing I'm, in under El Desulo I'm hanging out in that weird <laughs> temple <laughs> And I'm like, that I temple's can't. wild. I can't the temple's so Did you see sick. that temple? I didn't, I didn't sleep at all last night. Did you see? Bro, I looked that shit up. I've caught the bug. Saw, Did you see he had a private temple, cabin like, at that, like, I can't do this. At that music camp yes. in Switzerland? Yes, 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 yes. He wait, had a wait, private, wait. there's like a music camp for like gifted, like, children. Hey, Cusper pointed it out, but like, some they added me to the funny accounts tab on Twitter. Incredible. So it's like, you know, like, oh, I flew the dog over, you know, and then it's just like me being like, Hillary Clinton is raping and murdering <laughs> children. <laughs> Funny accounts. <laughs> That's better it's than like, like you between Kumail Nanjiani and right. Jomini Son. <laughs> I get like I get like Billy. I Mr. President, no. Yeah, yeah. I get like <laughs> I get Billy on the street being like he's not a legitimate president, and I don't. And I'm under funny accounts. Like that's what comedy is now. Mm-hmm. Hold on though, can we talk? Because I did look into this temple, and I don't know about this. Um, the only explanation anyone's shit. offering is that, like, well, he's a classically trained pianist, so he needs a place to play piano. So it's a soundproof room <laughs> on the far end of the island, which locks from the outside. It doesn't lock from the outside. That's like that's stupid. They just they talk to some general contractor. The doors are painted on. There's no like there's no actual doors that mm. you can see. There is some like what looks like sliding glass doors on the back. But that lock from the outside is just a painted facade. It's a facade? Oh, that sucks. I thought at least it was like a real deal old school. But then it's like, yeah, why are there like golden owl statues and like all this like, yeah, golden owl, Poseidon. Poseidon. Wait, so you think this is like some like. Poseidon, but it's like, uh, you know, I mean. You think this is like secret society ritualistic shit? Yeah. No, but I think it's it's worth, it's even cooler than that. Yeah. It's fake. It's Neptune who was eaten by his father. Mm. Who was ritually sacrificed? That's right. As a child. Yep. By Saturn. Interesting. Saturn ate Neptune. Wait, but oh, didn't? Uh, he, but he comes back and he's the sea guy. Uh, he does because like Jupiter kills Saturn. Zeus. I guess it, this is in. These are the Roman these gods. These are the Roman gods. I nah, never. They just those. fucking Copy. jocked our shit. They just changed the name. Please names. call them by the real names. Yeah, I respect Zeus the Greek and gods. Poseidon. And what you're describing is the Titans. 
Zeus fucked the Titans up, and and then the gods of Olympus got the world from them. But yes, the Titans ate Poseidon, I believe. Yeah. Yes. But don't call him fucking Jupiter or whatever the well, fuck. Well, anyways, that's what's going on in that mm-hmm. thing. Is they're eating children. Well, the other, one other guy said, well, Mr. Epstein is Jewish. He might have built his own synagogue. That's, <laughs> that's, that's like, <laughs> weird uh, now, now I'm actually <laughs> turning the corner on that guy. <laughs> yeah. You know what else is hilarious? That they said at one point that Golden Dome shit blew off during a hurricane. So I love the idea of like, Fucking, that's how he gets caught. There's some, there's like a helicopter patrolling because of the hurricane, and it just blows off, and you just see Epstein <laughs> looking up, and he's <laughs> fucking a child. He's like, oh, brother. Yeah. It's funny, I did see some graphic or whatever that 4chan produced. Like, I guess they, like, like all those guys knew about that temple somehow two years ago, because they're the ones that's like, awesome. paying attention to this shit every day, and mm-hmm. like they have their own, yeah. you know, they're using like, Satellite software to like document every <laughs> aspect of the fucking island. Yeah, but like they, there was James. some graphic that looked like it was out of Popular Mechanics, where it shows that the dome is just like a machine room for an elevator that leads down. Mm. Oh, so there's an underground yeah. layer, but there's not. I mean, he's a got a bat cave. Yeah, well, it's not Before. a bat cave. It's an underground place to rape children, a rape cave, <laughs> and sacrifice them. What is it with uh, underground? And raping children. Because that's what Pizza Gay was well, all about, too. because they're cathonic cults. The vibes are better underground. So these are all... Cults like, are into basements? Well, no, I mean... It's, it's like a goth thing? It goes thing? back to Greek times when, like, the there yeah, there were these... No, we were... First of all, we were raping in daylight. Thank you very much. Ritualistic sacrifices that worship the underworld. So it literally is a relation to... Oh, like, like Hades being, lived under the ground. Yeah. Do it, not... Listen. Do not besmirch... We were teaching those kids math. Yeah, you were good on we were pedophiles. sucking them off. Yeah. We were You're not taking them, them underground. We weren't chopping up their bodies. We were their boy. It was a, more like a big brother, little brother it program. It was a boyfriend and girlfriend where instead situation. Of, yeah, you get, fu- you get to fuck the child. And I'm not saying that's right, but we weren't doing it underground. We had nothing. There was no shame in our game. We were doing it right so God, Zeus and everyone could see. But anyway, continue. Oh, yeah. No, I mean... Yeah, that, then if you look at the pictures, too, there's clearly, like, also service entrances that go into, like... I mean, there's all these, like, places on the island that clearly lead underground. Mm-hmm. And people are like, oh, well, it's probably just, like, a, a, a maintenance A servant's shed. quarters like, or So you, you blasted out a hole in the side of the, the, the <laughs> hill... To put a maintenance shed there, you couldn't just build a maintenance shed. Yeah. You he couldn't said, just go get a fucking like uh, a pop up, you know, aluminum sided shed. Like, damn. there's zero reason for it to be lead underground unless it leads to underground tunnels. Damn, well, my also, King Nick is back in it. Well, it also could have been though something that has to do with plumbing. Isn't that a possibility? Yeah, a pump station to like bring water to the rest of. But the I island. do like better the idea that it is an underground child fuck orium. Yeah. That sucks, dude. I mean, why did he need to do it underground? Did you check out the other shit? I didn't even. I didn't read the it whole thing. His own fucking island. But all the shit he got shipped over there was like the meat grinder and like a carpet rem- and tile remover and then like a dentist chair also. Damn, that's some sh- saw shit. Yeah, I th- it literally fucking is though, dude. Mm-hmm. And he looks like it. Look at that big ass fucking jaw. That's a yeah. scary motherfucker to have rape you. He's got a really weird look. Nah. <laughs> it's like, I'm not like, no one cute. I mean, I'm not saying you should be raped by a cute guy. No one should be, no children or anyone should be raped. But he looks crazy. That jaw is too big to get raped by. Mm-hmm. He I looks like I Thanos. I think he's kind of cute. He's not cute. No, he looks like Hellboy, kind of. He does look like Hellboy. <laughs> Dude, he's Ron Perlman's it's fucking. Ron Perlman. <laughs> he's Ron Perlman's it. Guy, the tether. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Ron Perlman. Didn't you trick Ron Perlman into retweeting something because you said you were yeah, a retarded drawing child? or something? But yeah, I, I barely got any sleep last night. <laughs> Damn, Nick. <laughs> well, are you, how are you feeling? Exhausted? So, what's the Swedish thing? What's Fill that? Me in. What's Swedish in thing? Switzerland. Switzerland. I guess I just saw a headline. Oh. Nick probably read it, but yeah, it's, there was like a camp for like gifted musician children that he had a private cabinet. Damn, dude. Who knows how much fucking awesome piano music we've It's sort of like on. it's like Jimmy Savile got away with it, right? And died. Jimmy Savile. Right? Seville. Is that right, Nick? Yeah. Isn't Savile. Don't they make suits? No, he's like this. He was like 
England's Mr. Rogers, and he raped like three hundred oh, kids. Oh, he had that little bob haircut. But yeah. it's like what I don't understand. But is like, let's say, let's say these are all the, these are elites that have controlled the world for yeah. centuries, and part of their thing is raping children or whatever. And it's like they've normalized so much shit. It's like why haven't they just normalized raping and murdering children to stay in power by now? Mm. You know well, what? I mean? You have three thousand years to that's program people. O- that's honestly true. You yeah. have 3,000 years to program people. It's like, it makes me feel how like are we not living in a world now where it's like, yeah, of course Hillary has to rape and murder children. That's how she stays alive with satanic power to be like continue <laughs> being a girl boss president. <laughs> it's like, yeah. why? Like, how is that not just like, of co- like it, 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 duh, it's common sense. You know, right. like, why, like, how have they not brainwashed us to that extent yet? Hmm. You know, why would they need to do anything behind closed doors? Which door? makes me feel like there isn't this conspiracy. Well, right? no, it's no. like it's like they, no one could have predicted the technological revolution and access to information that like, you know, there's a level of scrutiny now that never existed before. <laughs> right. A regular fucking person like does want like that. Fu- the guy freaking out in that bagel boss or whatever. My yeah. king. <laughs> 20 years ago, you could do that every day of your life. <laughs> And no one, like, no one outside of, like, fucking, yeah, you know, no Island Park in New York bag- would know yes. about it. You know, it's mm-hmm. like, that's the end of it. But this yeah. guy does, not, he does, has one freak out, and now, like, you know, it's f- international news. Yeah. So, like, even it. even Salute you go even you go far to away to your Luther own King private island, short. I mean, they couldn't have predicted that a company like Google, which didn't exist 20 years ago, or 25 years ago, rather, yeah, whenever. would have their own satellite system mapping the world to the extent that, like, the government would, you know, mm-hmm. so that anybody can just go look at Jeffrey Epstein's island. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What would happen if you just helicoptered over? Would what? he shoot you down? No. Yeah, I he's don't... got frigging lasers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. Does he really? He's got freaking laser freaking beams. Freaking lasers. <laughs> <laughs> what if there was a miniature? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, if Ellie and Jeffrey Gonzalez Epstein. can sneak his way into America, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to sneak our way on the Jeffrey Epstein. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's true. Why don't we recruit that is the correct. migrants to just fucking go get Yes. Them. Yeah, make That's how we useful. solve this. Put the refugees <laughs> on Little St. James Island. Mm-hmm. Make them and have crack a new the society. Case. No, <laughs> oh, I, I didn't think that's what... I meant like for them oh, to work, solve get, the case. Hire a bunch of day laborers <laughs> and be like, "Can you get, can you amass some evidence? Can and you get, get on like bars? a a coconut raft? <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you some uh, camcorders." <laughs> no, I'm thinking we just commandeer it and repopulate it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of options. Yeah, he's got sharks with the freaking freaking lasers. laser beams. Yeah. But I mean, you do you think about it, and it's like there <laughs> are many Jeffrey Epstein would be awesome. There are religious <laughs> ideas that have persisted like for thousands of years uh-huh. that are still very real to people, and it's like they've always had like some degree of like a satanic counterpart or whatever. You know, even in the Bible, people are sacrificing and eating children. But I feel like they're like for God, though, right? Yeah, but the, you know, but it's like idolatry, or they. I know. feel like the only Satanists they're no, doing in the Old doing, Testament. They're, they're doing, doing it, it without God. asking. Or, like, without being asked to. You mean New Testament? Yes. Yeah. Because in the Old Testament, God was like, chop up your fucking boys for me. Yeah. Chop up some fucking Dude, sheep. Dude, the fucking the story of, of Isaac, song. the story yeah. of Isaac is fucked up. But the, the story of Isaac, he doesn't kill Isaac. But he was going to. He was going to because it's like... Yeah, the, 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 Prove the, it. The, the test is, like, that is that is, that demonstrates faith because Abraham can't know that Isaac is, is going to be saved by to God. To me, it always made God seem like an insecure bitch. So it has to... Mm. He has to commit to doing this act that doesn't make any sense to him. Y- you uh-huh. know, like Have if complete God, faith. If God loved him, he wouldn't do this. Yeah, it's about having absolute faith. And absolute yeah. faith is something that can't be comprehended by the individual. So the act, like... That's God's understanding shit, of it has to go outside of of a uh, man's understanding of it. So if God asks something of, like that of you, Isaac was getting hazed, bro. Yeah, Abraham. Ple- Abraham can't. Abraham can't kill experience your son, real faith until he believes that God will allow him to kill his son and get to the top of the mountain and mm-hmm. kill his son. Yeah, so which is he, fucked up. Yeah, once he gets to the top of the mountain and thinks he's going to kill his son. At that point, then he no longer has to kill his son. But if, if at any point he's thinking like, "Oh, God's not actually gonna make me kill his son," then, then he's he not committed have faith. to the act, and yeah. he doesn't have faith. And then he has to kill his son. Yeah, which would be fucked up. 
No, Old Testament God, like, you God can suck these son. nuts, dude. Old Testament God is an insecure bitch. He sucks. The golden calf story? Get over it. What's that about? What a fucking drama queen. I wish we could get they a like, look they, at those fucking statues. I know, dude. It sucks. The, it's the like, the oh, owls I think maybe shit. it's Poseidon. It's like, get better pictures, you what fucking What if it's Jeffrey Epstein? Let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> as Poseidon. Let's yeah. fucking fuck there's the, a, there's fuck a the podcast. There's a statue of him raping a child and eating it. <laughs> okay, this is what we need to do. We're like, well, he's Jewish, so maybe he <laughs> built his own t- piano yeah, statue. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they, that's they what ca- he yeah, it's her this is her bot mitzvah. Yeah. That is the story. <laughs> okay, that is what's the story? the story? All right. A guy whose girlfriend is the daughter of a Mossad agent or uh, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, uh, like this global elite who's connected to all of these presidents and people. Yes, he is uh, uh, abusing children for money and <laughs> pimping them out to uh, uh, celebrities and, and politicians. Yep. Yes, and he has a secret temple on his island, and no one understands what the temple is for. The temple but is... But don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, this is what <laughs> no. we got to do. Don't the, the temple is so, like, it's just sh- such showboating. Yeah. It's like, not only are you getting away with raping children... You want to do it fancy style. It's Deion Sanders high-stepping yeah, into yeah, the yeah. end zone. It's like, he's being a you showboat. can't catch me. He's, he's being re- a little bit of a showboat. showboat raping, yeah. honestly. That's uh, it a, really that's is. A, that's unsportsmanlike conduct. It's unsports. It's uncalled for. Act like you've been there yards. before. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, honestly, this is what we need to do. Okay. Hit up John McAfee, right? Oh, He definitely has a seat. He's got plan. the resources. You saw the thing about Bloomberg, right? Going in on deep fakes. Like, guys, uh, we need to talk about uh, why deep fakes are bad uh, deep fakes are you know deep like they're like pushing all these like deep fake stories over oh. the last couple of days oh because because he thinks that there's gonna there's be video of, him of fucking uh, a kid. yeah the yeah. editor-in-chief fucking kids or whatever yeah yeah oh you gotta worry about deep fakes i mean it's insane it's fucking insane dude. what about dershowitz being like i kept my underwear on yeah during well, the massage, I got a massage. <laughs> what of the finest legal minds <laughs> That we've been told, we we have been told that he was one of the finest legal Your minds. Your Honor, I had my fucking boxers on. I was not shit, raping. I mean, we can fucking talk about it, but that shit we found out at Harvard about his fucking grandson saying that, saying he, that he lost, lost his, virginity. his virginity and it lines up with when he took a trip on that fucking. He was train. on the flight logs. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That by the way, that was the big. That was the big Durst scoop that we got that I couldn't say publicly, but yeah. Yeah, we got that rumor, which is I, I built it up maybe a it's little. It's a rumor more that we heard. It's, it's a, a completely rumor unsubstantiated it's an rumor. Unsubstantiated but it's true. No, it's substantiated rumor. because somebody heard it. <laughs> the guy they heard that guy say that. Shout out to the boys of the lampoon. No yeah. man, don't say now where we heard it. You I'm not implicating retarded. anyone. They thought we were with the math club. At I mean, shout out to the. They, they thought we were invited by the the. Uh, yeah, shout out to the um gay the gay straight the alliance. The gay straight alliance. <laughs> That's right. At Harvard. Mm-hmm. They, they Which hit us one? With a hot tip. Which one are we? Who knows? Gay We're Straight both. Alliance. It's kind of like rap rock. It's good yeah. in theory, but yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> it's like a band with a DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Sugar. Uh, I remember how homophobic people were in Baltimore City, where after we lost the Poly City game, which is like a big deal, uh, we played at Raven Stadium and everything. The star quarterback was looking through the booklet, like where they have like ad, you know, different. The program and different people put out ads to support, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Man, what the fuck? The Gay Straight Alliance put out an ad. Mm-hmm. That's why we lost. Because <laughs> gay people he got mad at he that. Got mad that gay people supported us. I might have said this before in the show, but was the Gay Straight Alliance in your high school like very hot topic? Invaders, one hundred percent. Yeah, it was yes. all like it was goths. Yes." They were the like, the first kids that were brave enough to say they're gay. Yeah, Our, you know? ours also. There was a big overlap with. It was like very pale, white kids. Jack with Skellington bangs, shit. Yeah, and it was like chubby, like, uh, like um, light Hawaiian skinned, girls, uh, like anime nerds that yeah, were yeah. bi or whatever. Yeah, um, it was a fun mix, a fun crew. There was a girl, there was a fat girl that looked like the Cheshire cat who was really running things. They looked like they had a hell of a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. They were wearing a lot of those sleeves, striped sleeves. Right. The sleeves. Kind the of black anime nerd and the gay straight alliance component in my high school. Uh-huh. Huge overlap. The um those pants, those parachute bondage pants. Oh yeah. Those huge like yep. raver pants. There was a kid who sold weed. In my high school, and he just kept a scale in those pants. Like he just kept ounces in a scale in those pants. But think about the Nazis, right? Okay, yeah. Let's oh, go. Sorry. Let's go. get back uh, into yeah, it. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Well, you know, the Nazis were, like, very scientifically oriented. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like, to the extent that they, like, embraced, like, you know, like a genetic race science or whatever, and Mm -hmm. they're going to exterminate people that they deem to be, like, genetically unfit, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, I mean, made a lot of advances in terms of, like, rocketry and, you know, engineering or whatever. Freaking laser beams. I love, we love the the rockets. At the same time... They think the occult is real, you know. Mm. They're like they they're embracing all these ancient symbols and they believe in like magic and shit. That's pretty mm. cool. So it's like you you do in your head think like oh well these people are like elites they understand how the world works and as if they understand how the world works that they couldn't think of anything as stupid as like there's a satanic god we need to worship, but it's like why not, you know? So you think they know? Imagine you're on like a fucking no. I'm just saying like even if it is you want to have like an atheistic approach to the whole thing where it's like what like what power could they be sacrificing this shit to mm-hmm. you know like they're uh, let's say they're murdering children and draining yeah. their blood for some fucking god mm-hmm. it's like it could even be like superstition they're like fuck i guess i'm kind of an idiot but i've been like making billions of dollars every year without really trying it's like i should probably continue keep it going yeah right this <laughs> yeah, is my yeah, this yeah. is just like my rabbit's foot or whatever <laughs> Just draining the blood mm. of the innocents. <laughs> Damn. Oh, so you? I thought you were making the point there for a second that because the Nazis were good at rockets and they believed in a cult, that the occult is probably real. Well, no, it's that. Yeah, I mean, just like somebody's like life based in practicality and like very much the material world and like things like finance and understanding like you know markets and government yeah. and like all of these things that you would think would preclude you from believing in something as silly as like right a satanic god that you derive mm-hmm. you know power from Beelzebub. but like that's happened plenty of times you know what, what if I mean? the shit is real though then what well actually it would be nice honestly it would be it would be i i would be happy to find out that there is like some kind of satanic power that they worship because it would validate like other like you know metaphysical questions about like you know well is there like some sort of goodness or whatever that exists outside of like yeah the the some actions of individuals it would be nice then we could all become soldiers for god yeah, I'm a sure. soldier of God. I'm reading uh, Marianne Williamson. <laughs> yeah, what if crystals and shit are real? What if that's how you fight Satan, dude? Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. With court, no, if you found courts. out the devil was real, that'd be awesome. It means that like there is an afterlife, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that there is some value to life. Yeah, that Rob Zombie was yeah. right. Even if God's already been killed, and like we're living in hell, Ooh, you know, damn. it's like oh, then there's a point. If like uh, you know, living like a a life where it's like, nah, I'm just the result of like a like millions and billions of years of like chemical Random. interactions, and there's like no point to any of this. Like consciousness is like sort of like a, a mistake, almost an evolutionary misstep, and yeah. that it yeah. like it was I think meant to help you survive, but it truth. makes you aware of your own death, and it's you know, yeah, life sucks and it's garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if it's like, no, God was murdered by, by Hillary Clinton, by Hillary Clinton <laughs> for sucking <laughs> right. too much, for having too much cool rooks or whatever. Yeah, the yeah, fuck. yeah. The only way for her to cure it was to kill God. <laughs> she <laughs> killed God. <laughs> Hillary Clinton killed God to for her kuru <laughs> to, yeah. say, to cure herself of kuru. That's one of my favorite <laughs> rumors online <laughs> during the elections that she had kuru, and yeah. that's why she could never be a Michigan from, dude. It was from Canada. She was in a rocket ship in yeah, heaven, from, from killing God from eating children. Yeah, no, there's a video <laughs> of some guy. He's like, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, man, but this, some of this stuff is really just freaky, man. I want you to take a look at this. And he's playing some video, and it's just Hillary Clinton talking, and he's like, freeze frame right here. You can see that what's going on with her eyes. And then he's like showing pictures of, I, it was like lizards or something. And it's like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> to frame it as like, look, I wasn't looking for anything, but yeah. this is so obvious that you're going to be freaked you see out. Our, our, <laughs> it's just her talking. You see our buddy Kush got in trouble for saying Acosta was a lizard person. And they're like, can you not use anti-Semitic tropes on this non-Jewish guy? Cr- that Matt? Yeah, Chrisman got in trouble because he said yeah. that, he's like a, that he's a lizard person. And people are like, you're using anti-Semitism to attack a non-Jew. And like Unbelievable. you can do that without the anti-Semitism. You're not allowed to lizard call someone a person lizard person. Is anti-Semitic? 
Louis was being anti-Semitic when he called Don Rumsfeld a lizard person. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He was also raping him. Yeah. It was sexual assault. He's yep. a guilt. Yeah. He raped Don Rumsfeld. <laughs> Who played Don Rumsfeld in that movie? Steve Carell? Yeah. He was good. That was a good movie, actually. I didn't... I, I thought it should have been like... Like an eight-hour miniseries. That's it true. Felt like I it went too that. fast. You know what? That's a good point. But I gotta say, it was fucking. It was interesting. It felt like the editing was kind of like the studio just hacked it apart. Adam McKay said there was a huge, oh, like a huge musical number that just That's got completely, hysterical. completely. Yeah, I up. agree. It. I. I could. I did. It I should wanted have been to an see HBO more. series because there was so many parts where were so fucking like good and interesting, and then you just zapped right out of it. Yeah. Honestly, the performances were great. Uh, what's his face is. I thought all the performances G-dub. were awesome. Oh yeah, so Sam Rockwell. Good. Sam Rockwell. I fucking love that guy. Crushed G I love that dude. guy. He's a is such a talented actor. He's so charismatic, dude. Yeah. 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 You just want to be his friend. I watch Green Mile so much. I recently. am his friend. We hang out. I saw him actually. He was saying you guys Sam were Rockwell. Gay. I've seen him in public twice. One yeah, in New Sam Orleans Rockwell. and another time in New Orleans. He seems oh, like a yeah. chill guy. Yeah, we saw him in New Orleans. Yeah, he's playing pool with, with uh, Justin Long. Justin Long, yeah. yeah. And then um they and both were like, "Dude, you're cool. It's you, the fat guy." And then we, uh, I was your friends, and then you guys fuck chicks with a lot them? of people. Don't know, but I was fat. No, I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then uh, yeah, and then I fucked chicks with them. And then Nick was mm-hmm. like, "I don't know, what were you doing?" Crying? We also saw Keith Kiefer Sutherland. We did on the street, mean mugging people. He really, he truly was. He's like dude, a drunk get the guy, hell out right? Of my way. Yeah, dude. I'm Jack he was Bauer. he was more weathered than I thought he would be. Mm-hmm. <coughs> he's um, like he's he's just they're they're trying to get him for twenty four and they're like the show's called twenty four. He's like, I love the idea of the show. It's about a man with a twenty four inch penis. <laughs> they're like, No, it's twenty four hours a day. <laughs> he's like, Right, but his penis is but his, <laughs> his penis keeps getting in the his way. His penis is twenty four <laughs> inches long. That's why he's rec- recruited by the CIA <laughs> for being the smartest man in the world, but also his penis is twenty four <laughs> inches long. They're like, um, no, <laughs> it's a normal size That's penis. Not, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Yeah, Daddy, it's me, <laughs> Jack Bauer. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the role of the guy Daddy. with the 24 inch penis. <laughs> Donald, yeah. telling Donald what's up. Yeah, that's good, son. I'm, my my dad's make sure to insist his penis is 24 inches. My dad's almost as good as an actor as I am. The difference <laughs> is, is I'm a tough guy. <laughs> he acts too, but I'm the tough guy of the family. <clears throat> You think Kiefer Sutherland's that tough? No, he acts like he's a tough guy. Yeah, I he feel thinks like, he I feel is. like I could tune he's his ass up. He's one of those up. spoiled Hollywood fucking pieces Right, he of grew shit. up rich, and he thinks because he plays electric guitar that he's like yeah. a... Yeah. And because he he's was like a vampire. He's like Scott Kahn. He's more talented yes. than Scott Kahn in terms of acting, but and it's the taller. same fucking thing. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr.'s like that. Or was, and then he like got his shit together. Yeah. Wait, Robert Downey Jr.'s family is Hollywood? Yeah, there was a Robert Downey Sr. who was also an actor. Nuh-uh. Yes. No, there's a somebody else, Downey Jr. There's Morton Downey Jr. Yeah. Who is also... Who was the king? Who was a different guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was the first <laughs> Trump, dude. And Morton? Yeah, Morton, like, set the table for Trump. <clears throat> um, you know, they also got R. Kelly this week. All the kings falling. <laughs> <laughs> My man got some, ch- some federal charges, not just state mm-hmm. now. Which, you know... You know what? I guess he's gone. I've decided I can't listen to... Step in the name of love Step anymore. Step in the name of love. I yeah. can't listen to it while I'm fucking uh, children. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just ruins the mood. It ruins the mood because I just think of like, you know. Yeah, I like that they're scrambling. They're like, how about R. Kelly? Can we give you him? That's yeah. why. That's why this R. Kelly stuff, the Michael Jackson stuff, comes out because they're trying to hand you, throw you a bone with a couple of them. Right. <laughs> right like, oh right. yeah, isn't this weird that a couple of guys are like this and not yeah. every single fucking one of them? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not. It's they're not even giving us anyone we don't know. Mm-hmm. R. Mm-hmm. Kelly is the. Mo- there was a tape of him fucking a child and when we were in it. ninth. When I was in ninth grade. Remember when that was funny? It was funny. Like remember when it was you like wanted Dave Chappelle it. was like doing like yeah. sketches about piss on you was funny. piss on you is so drip, funny. Drip, drip, drip. But you couldn't like, make that sketch twenty nine. There's like a seventeen year old who was like, "Damn, I was the one that got pissed on." Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> watching that, being like, "Sweet." It's kind of like when people were calling Monica Lewinsky like fat, which by the way, she could have gotten it certified. She could have definitely got it. Big old mouth, nice little tetone. Monica, uh, Monica, I'm Monica, to chill. shuts out, dude. What's I think up, she's bro? a fan. I think she listens. You think she listens? Yeah. Her and uh, De Blasio's son hanging out, listening. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, 
Also, another thing. Did you see how fucked up that guy, Acosta? What the fuck is that guy? Jim Acosta? Uh, Alex Acosta? Alex Acosta. How fucked up looking his family was? Yeah. I felt so bad for that. His daughter looks like you did a face swap with him. Really? Did you see the picture? No, I didn't see it. It's fucked. She looks like a haunted little girl that has a fucking old man's face. Oh, my God. Like the girl from Hereditary? I was like looking weirder and and like worse because it's not a defect. You know what I mean? Right. It's it's a regular face. It's just face, an ugly ass. But it's <laughs> ugly as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I was looking at there was like a thread where somebody was like, "What's this temple on Epstein's Island?" Somebody just posted a picture of a mosque and it's like looks like another temple where they worship a pedophile. And it's like, get out of here. Yeah. Just get out of here. This is yes. You're on some first level shit. <laughs> yeah. You just need yeah. To get the fuck out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not you're your playing checkers, brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to get the fuck out. <laughs> There's one place Islamophobia is not welcome is further to the right than Islamophobia. (laughs) We are so past Muslims, brother. You fucking dumb piece of shit. (laughs) Take Q101. Mm -hmm. This is a fucking 400 level grad course right Mm -hmm. now. (laughs) Step in the name of having sex with children. (laughs) Step in my ass and call me gay. Step in my ass, I'm gay. (laughs) Step in my ass, I'm gay. Oh, na, na, na. Pull your dick out and fuck me if you're horny tonight. Oh, na, na, na. na. Suck my dick and my ass if you're horny tonight. Alex Acosta. I love that everyone was, like, laughing at that picture of his daughter, though. Yeah, it's like that dumb... It's like, you that dumb b- bitch. That your, little girl's just has your dad, done nothing. Who no one had a problem with until Trump was involved. <laughs> yeah. And also, it's like... <laughs> She's fucking four and ugly as shit. Yeah, I don't want to say who it was, but there's a there's a comic, and I look at their Twitter feed because like since 2016, every single day there's at least one negative tweet about Bernie. Every oh, I know who it is. Single really? Day. Yes. Yeah. It has. Not, it's mental illness. It has not stopped. Yeah. Like she's, like she's, she's mad at Bernie. She's mad at Bernie. Bernie is is worse. She than hates Trump. Bernie more and than it, Trump. It yeah. never. It <laughs> never. I mean, she or he. Every day it's like. <laughs> yeah, they, every day it's they. like something about how Hillary would have like been killing it. Oh. And then you know, Bernie like fuck Bernie Sanders every single fucking day. That's so fucking without annoying. without a break since what 2016. What did Bernie do to these motherfuckers? Yeah. How is he the bad one? I get if you're some dumb rich asshole, fine. But it's like that's what the, that's the case. Oh, okay, yeah. So the uh, but yeah, just like the last couple of weeks have been like really playing up the uh, Epstein Trump connection, and then retweeting that statement from the Clinton family. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, not only not just ignoring it, which yeah. is what you should do. Yeah, right, yeah. No, but she, being like, like, no, they're cultist. right. Yeah, yeah, they're right. Oh yeah. my God, dude. Like, I, what kind of work you have to do in your head to think Bill Clinton isn't. He's a just, good for, guy. For starters, a rapist. Right. Number one, yeah, he's yeah. certainly a rapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is willingly, like, lied to the American public under oath. Is, is, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's. No, you but like even beyond it. like Monica, he, he raped Juanita Broderick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I know. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, on, in the most pu- his most public shit is like, yeah, hey guys, I I wasn't mm-hmm. lying. I just there's I'm a sick Willie. there's a gray area about what is means. <laughs> yeah. Like, come fucking. It's on, so dude. funny that this all started with like stop cat calling, and now it's like. Well, we accidentally exposed an elite network of <laughs> <laughs> rapists and pedophiles. Uh, this Me Too thing really kind of caught on, and we didn't really expect it to backfire and mm. get us all. I feel like Me Too really hasn't. It hasn't affected like the secret powers that be, like like who? the like the people that, you know. Like, like even Brian Singer just won an Oscar. Yeah, he's a famous he person. He just won it. Yeah. Oh you no, know? it'll never really get them. Like he, but I'm that saying Red like, Sonia movie. There's gone, so many people like that have so much power. You don't know their name, and they're clearly like, you know, they're clearly people that are like raping. Like the kind of people that think like that guy Adelson is like too, is too much in the public eye. Right. Like yeah. people that are even more. They're like stop being so flashy well, with Epstein your money. Will be back on his island within two years. Okay. There will not be consequences. You don't what think, if it you turns don't think out he's, he's going to at least f- be the fall guy? No. At least? What if it turns no. out? What if it turns out that Epstein's just a big like parrot head Jimmy Buffett kind of guy? 
yeah. and he just likes the island culture. Oh, you think Jimmy you, Buffett just wrote that music for fun? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He likes steel drums. Yeah, <laughs> he likes getting way, wasted ha- away in Margaritaville. <clears throat> Having sex with children mm. on Epstein's eyes. What do you think cheeseburger in paradise means? Oh my think god. I want to fuck all coming a together. child a because I'm a rapist. The cheeseburger is like kind of a, chi- bum, bum, bum. a child What's sandwich. What's it made out of? Well, there's What's that it meat, made out? The meat? meat grinder. What's it made? What kind of meat? Cow. Cow. A cow. What is a cow? What does that represent? Uh, Fertility. Hinduism. Milk. Hinduism. <laughs> <laughs> Right? They love cows? <laughs> what is it? It's a sacred cow. But mm. we put cheese on it. Cheese. Oh. Child cow. Yeah. Well, yeah Child you, sacred cow. And how about this? Che- meat and cheese, not kosher. Not in kosher. Paradise. It's the milk in the mother's meat. It's a cheeseburger in paradise. What an absurd song. But if you think about it in its actual terms, which means putting a sacred cow, a child a cow, child's a pussy. cheese cow, into a meat grinder to make a burger out of it, mm-hmm. in paradise, i.e. an island. Yep. The meat grinder is your penis. Which, you know what? I mean... I, paradise I, is a place where <laughs> authorities can't stop you from raping they can't, a kid. Well, it's... it's it's a. Uh, let's look at the lyrics for Cheeseburger. Mm, l- please. Because I've thought about this a lot. Lately. Yes, absolutely. And I'm glad you brought it up. Thank you. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Jimmy Buffett really hasn't been mentioned this entire <laughs> this entire news cycle. No. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's that a might huge be oversight. A yeah. Huge oversight. He provides cover. You get all these. You get all. Oh my God, dude. Honestly, can I, for real though, mm-hmm. all these suits that are rich as shit, just old guys with gray hair. They blend in at a Jimmy Buffett concert. Absolutely, that's so you demo. have a giant. You have a giant Jimmy Buffett thing. These guys take their suits off, put on Hawaiian shirts, and then go in the subterranean layer underneath the stage right, where right. Jimmy's doing something. They're like, "Oh, we're just all right." Into here we go. Key Where's West? the lyrics? They fuck, they fuck children under the stage of every Jimmy Buffett concert. Hey, the cheeseburger in Paradise. Try. Hold on a second. I've got the lyrics here. Hold on. Tried to amend my carnivorous habits. Uh oh. Made oh it nearly no. seventy days. Uh oh. That's a weird choice. Okay, yep. that's like you're addicted to. He's boy counting. Pussy. Yeah. The days. The last time he touched, his lips touched child. God. Ass. Nearly seventy Continue. days. What is that? Sixty nine days. Close. Uh-huh. Yeah. Losing, Sex. Losing weight without speed. Eating sunflower seeds. Drinking lots of carrot juice and soaking up the rays. What? would inspire someone to sit down and write those words on a piece of paper. Mm. But at night, I have these wonderful dreams, (laughs) some kind of sensuous treat. Oh, shit. A sensuous treat. Not zucchini, fettuccine, or bulgur wheat, but a big warm bun and a huge hunk of meat. Oh, Oh, my God. Cheeseburger in paradise, heaven on earth with an (laughs) onion slice. Not too particular, not too precise. I'm just a cheeseburger in paradise. (laughs) How about the old-time sailor men? And of course, what do we know them about? about? Talking about Atlantis. Yep. They eat the (laughs) same thing again and again. Warm beer and bread, they say, could raise the dead. Well, it reminds me of the menu. That's satanic. It reminds me of the menu at a Holiday Inn. Ooh, that's just funny. That's a good bit. No. But times have changed for sailors these days. (laughs) When I'm in port, I get what I need. Not just Havana's or bananas or daiquiris. But that American creation on which I feed. Oh, my God. I get what I Amer- need. America is Sodom and Gomorrah. That's absolutely right. true. That's so true. the creation here is a new type of child sacrifice and ritual, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, obviously probably stem cell research mm-hmm. in, in the underground tunnels and, yes. uh, and Jeffrey Epstein's Cheeseburger Island. That's right. <laughs> Cheeseburger in Paradise, medium rare with mustard, it'd be nice. Heaven on earth with an onion slice. I'm a cheeseburger in paradise. I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57, and French fried potatoes. Big kosher pickle and a cold Kosher? Draft. Yeah. Big kosher pickle oh, in no. a cheeseburger? Yeah. And oh, a cold that's draft a Jewish beer. cock in a little boy's pussy. Well, that's good true. God almighty, which way do I steer? For my cheeseburger in paradise, <laughs> making the best of every virtue and vice. Uh-oh. Worth every damn bit of sacrifice. Sacrifice. 
to get a cheeseburger in paradise. Oh my to god. To be a cheeseburger in paradise. I'm just to a be one? Yes. That means you you seeing what this is? He, wants, he, he was raped. He was raped. They were all raped. Which well, is what happened. The final line is well, good go, God almighty, which way do I steer? So this is obviously a cry from help from Jimmy. He's Biden. trying to decide. Do I break the He's habit? He's been sexed into this cult. Yes. Yeah. Clearly. From a young age. By a big Jewish kosher pickle. As a, a, as a child. He got a up, kosher pickle up in his bones. Key West. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They fucked him into the satanic sex cult. That's absolutely correct. And, I, they, and then they raised him to be <laughs> America's uh, most popular, um, you know, uh, what, what, like, what is the type of music that is? Well, the thing is, he was useful for them, because as we discussed earlier, he provides perfect cover, a disguise. He's mm -hmm. created a culture where these businessmen, they wear suits, can, they can all let of a sudden, loose. they throw on a Hawaiian, they blend into the crowd, and then they... They've used his concerts for years as covers for uh -huh. child rape parties. Uh -huh. That's the only reason he wasn't killed like the rest of the children he was molested mm -hmm. with. And, a parrot and that's why he doesn't know which way to go. Parrothead is obviously a reference to the large noses of Jewish men. <laughs> yes, dude. Absolutely. Right? So it's all coming together. It's absolutely coming together. And just so you guys know, I'm one of the good kinds. Yes, Adam wasn't sexed in because he was too ugly as a child. I was too ugly. I was passed over. His best dad so I was like, Tate, what do you think? Could we be a part of it if you fuck my son? And they're like, oh, he's kind of fucking gross. Oh, Adam. Did you guys see the, the beach bum? I didn't. I liked it. I did not see the beach bum. I don't get a lot of people didn't like it. I do want to see it. It's pretty sick, dude. Martin Lawrence's uh, comeback. Listen, man, no spoilers, dude. I'm just saying he's in it. Well, sort of a spoiler. Great to Howard see Martin Kaufman, on the screen. Jimmy Buffett's manager of 34 years, Here we passes go. away. Uh oh. When? What was his name? When Howard, was this? Howard Kaufman. Kaufman. So okay. Let's look into this guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jimmy Buffett's uh, real name? HK Man. Yachem Buffettarum? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, real name. Hold on. HK Man. Jimmy Buffet. No, dude. I think that might be it's his name. It's Yitzhak Buffett. It's James William <laughs> Buffett. I no, dude. I'm on a different website that actually is called www. Damn, there. his band's called the Coral Reefer Band. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's yeah, sick. dude. His name is Yitzhak Buffett. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. He's from Pascagoula, Mississippi. Hmm. Yeah. All right, right, so we're looking up it. this this guy Howard Kaufman, yes, <laughs> who guided the careers of the Eagles. Don Henley, uh oh, you know, by the okay, way. pedophile as well. well yeah, also, open I mean, pedophile uh, without question. Yeah, you know. So he was the Eagles manager. on record of having <laughs> raped and murdered a twelve year old girl in nineteen in November. On of the record, he said himself, "I raped him." <laughs> I did. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you can look that up. No, I mean, he did have... He had a 16-year-old and a 15-year-old prostitute in his house in November 1980. One of them overdosed. He had to call the police. And then I think he may have been initially charged, but then was, like, let go or whatever. And then the whole thing was just sort of cleaned up by... Manager of Aerosmith, Stevie Nicks, and the Eagles. Yeah. Stevie Nicks. Did she do some... I mean, hmm. Did she raped? Uh, <coughs> who Eagles, else Boss, Skaggs, pedophile. Chicago, Def Three Dog Leopard, Three Dog Night, Pedophile, Lenny Fiona Kravitz, Apple, Pedophile, um, <laughs> Lenny Kravitz, Definite Pedophile, uh, Jimmy Buffett, Lenny Kravitz, Pedophile, <laughs> Stevie Nixon, Isaac, both Pedophiles. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all Isaac, coming together. <laughs> Chris Isaac said he had a deep admiration for Kaufman's Kauf Kauf nearly innate <laughs> money. <laughs> Yo, it's, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> How clear the dots are being connected. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's just reading all this news. He <laughs> would <laughs> <laughs> be at lunch planning a 50-day tour, and off the top of his head, he could tell you how many seats you sold in Kansas City last time you could expect. All right, so this seems to be... I, I, I he don't was wanna, also a collaborator There's no someone. such thing as a dead end. What you have no. is a dark room that needs to be illuminated. Well, here's the thing. He also... Was a collaborator with. Oh, 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 here we go. A decade later, he joined Irving Azoff. I, front I was just going to say Irving Azoff. Yeah, yeah. Mix. Irving oh Azoff. Oh, my God. Who's he? Uh, oh, real, real, real shady, sicko. shady character. Real <laughs> sicko. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, he helped cover up the uh, that, that thing with the uh, two 
those two prostitutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it that him. guy? Yeah, yeah. In 2012, Literally. he topped yeah, Billboard's Power 100 and was named the most powerful person in the music industry. Wow. He sounds like somebody could get away with a little raping. And, and we're taking the yarn, right, on the pin board and connecting this to Jimmy Buffett. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. And Jimmy Buffett to island culture and island, island culture, culture to, to Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. Yeah, I mean, well, we heard cheeseburger in paradise. Like that's clearly about getting clear raped and then raped. <laughs> clear as day. Yeah. <laughs> the sacrifice is totally Honestly, worth Honestly, I'm it. surprised by how confident he is. It makes know? the sacrifice <laughs> worth it. Mm-hmm. What sacrifice is there in having a cheeseburger? Well, you know, fucking it's, a child. It's what, like you think this guy wrote a song where he's like, oh, "I've been on." I'm a diet. trying to watch my weight. I really want a cheeseburger. That's not what it's all about. And I at pray all. to God to help me abstain from my cheeseburger fetish. These are the lyrics mm-hmm. of the song. If you can't see that as a clear fucking metaphor, or so or mm-hmm. similar what are some of Margaritaville? Uh huh. Let's look at the Wasted lyrics. Wasted away, away again in Margaritaville, having sex with kids in an island. Dude, I love that song, honestly. Nibbling yeah, on sponge cake, pedophile. watching the sun bake, all of those tourists covered with oil, strumming my sixth string on my front porch swing, smell those shrimp, they're beginning to boil. The shrimp are beginning to boil. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I wonder what that could mean. Oh, my God. They're yeah. sous vide a bunch of children. <laughs> There's children sitting in a warm pot of 98.9 degree mm-hmm. fucking water. Oh, my God. Some people... Claim Another that thing that's non-kosher, shrimp. Here we go. Here we go. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. There's Hillary woman, Clinton. But I won't. But it, I know it's nobody's <laughs> fault. Hillary Don't know Clinton. the it's reason. It's definitely Hillary Clinton. Stayed here all season. <laughs> Nothing to show but this brand new tattoo. It's a real beauty, a Mexican cutie. So another tattoo mm-hmm. of a Mexican cutie. Uh-oh. Cutie, a child. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, the, uh, uh, Santa Maria. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. The dark, mu- the the dark fucking Virgin Mary. Yeah. Is Santa Maria. Santa Maria. She's the Satan's the, a satanic. Satan's satanic. Satan's the Virgin Mary. <laughs> 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 How it got here, I haven't a clue. <laughs> Wasting away again in Margaritaville, searching for my lost shaker of salt. Mm. Okay. Okay. I think clearly the connection is whenever a food item that's not kosher is mentioned, that's a child that you fuck, whether okay. it's shrimp or a cheeseburger. Because it's like an affront to God. It's Leviticus mm-hmm. 2.13. And every offering... Of your grain, <laughs> offering, you shall season with salt. Oh! You shall not allow the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from your grain offering. Uh-oh. With all your offerings, you shall offer salt. <laughs> so he, the lost shaker of salt means that these yeah. all offerings, without their salt, They're looking for, yes. are, 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 have godless. Been remo- are godless, have been removed <laughs> from the light of the Lord. Part of the temple offerings include salt. So his lost shaker of salt. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Buffett is a man tortured. Mm-hmm. Because he's trapped in he's between trapped. this world of elites, Irving Azov making him fuck and rape children <laughs> yes. to death. After he to himself per- being fucked and a- raped. After as he a child. himself was se- sexed into this <laughs> cult. And now he's being forced to fuck on an island paradise That's and right. rape children. <laughs> And he doesn't know. He's <laughs> sending us messages. He's reaching out to God for an answer. Right. He's, I don't know. Okay, those are the only two Jimmy Buffett songs I know. Because on the surface, it would seem like he'd be so happy on this island, but he expresses longing and he expresses regret. And what could that regret be about mm-hmm. other than being part of this vast conspiracy of powerful yep. men? Absolutely. To <laughs> have sex with children. Son of a son of a sailor. Interesting. And who's, you know, the person whose concerts are used as a front. For the elites. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> raping underneath children. wherever. Um, okay, let's pick a gym. Okay, so those are the two famous ones. Why don't we pick one at complete random and see if it still fits in? All right. Um, hmm. Something called Son of a Son of a Sailor. Let's see here. Lyrics. Son of a Sailor, Come Monday looks like another one. Come, come Monday? Yeah. Come on. Hey, everybody, it's Come Monday. You're <laughs> down on Jeff Epstein's <laughs> Island. Mm-hmm. You come on down. <laughs> yep. Get your nut off on Monday. It's for free. <laughs> I'm going to be Chris Tucker. Damn, Bill! <laughs> save, some, save some child pussy oh, I guess for the I rest was of wrong. us. I, I, I had read elsewhere like years ago that that was a different Chris Tucker. When no, I, it's actually Chris it's, Tucker. Yes, it's Chris Tucker. Wait, yeah. were there any black people on the flight logs? Chris Tucker. Chris, Chris Tucker. Tucker. Yeah. 
Anyone else? He does look. He has a kind of a pedophile look to him. When he was best he friends with Michael too Jackson, large. yeah, he smiles too much. He was really close with Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. He like does a fifteen minutes in every special. Oh, on hold on, guys. Creesh. Son of a sailor. As a son of a son of a sailor, I went out on the sea for adventure, expanding the view of the captain and crew, like a man just released from indenture. Mm. Uh, but here we go. Son of a son of a sa- son of a son son of a son. Son of a son of a sailor. Son of a gun. Load the last ton one step ahead of the jailer. Wow. Load the last ton of children to ship to the fucking island to have sex with one step ahead of the jailer. Now, way in the near future, southeast of disorder, you can shake the hand of the mango man as he greets you at the border. And the lady she hails from Trinidad, island of the spices, salt for your meat and cinnamon sweet... Salt and the again. rum is for all your good vices. So, there's the salt, the rum for your good vices. He has to get drunk to fuck these kids. Because mm-hmm. he doesn't want to. He's one step Jimmy's ahead of the one jailer. Of the f- he's one of the, f- the few good guys that are just That's mixed raping up. these children. Mixed up in a he's bad scene. He's just mixed up in a bad <laughs> scene, man. <laughs> he's loaded on margaritas. <laughs> That's why he's wasting away. Right. Jimmy Buffett does not live the Jimmy Buffett lifestyle. Uh oh. This is an article from the New York Times. Here we, let's see. Yeah, he lives in Sag Harbor, New York, <coughs> I just saw. Which is uh which is uh fucking what's his name? Billy Joel country. Uh oh. North Shore. And that's another guy that Or Sag Harbor, no, that's on that's in the Hamptons. Billy Joel, you think he's in the mix? Um Billy Joel? No. Nah. You don't think he rapes? Oh, come kids? on, bro. Now Billy yeah. Joel's an I- idiot. He gets too Come much. On, bro. He's not smart enough to. Billy Joel's too like much Donald regular Trump. Pussy. Anybody, anybody that's from New York that's successful and is a moron is just, you know, they're they down, just want to fuck like here with us. FHM girls. Well, Donald Trump fucked some of those kids though. Donald Trump fucks like Maxim girls. No, but he was on. I mean, he also. Yeah, he definitely fucked a couple. No, kids. Trump's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's full Q and on now. He's full Q and on. <laughs> Come on, be real. In that profile of Jeffrey Epstein, he calls him a pedophile. He does it in a roundabout way, but he calls him a pedophile. Where he's like, "Oh yeah," some even say he likes younger girls. But Trump's just an idiot girls, that can't shut up. Some of them even on the younger side. So it's a whole New York Magazine profile of a man that we now know to be a billionaire pedophile. And who tells you in that article that he's a pedophile? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Mm. What's the next paragraph after that? Mm -hmm. A glowing review by Bill Clinton about how smart Jeff is. You know, he knows all this (laughs) shit about global markets and how he really enjoyed their trip to Africa together. Now, who do you trust more? Mm -hmm. The guy that tells it like it is and literally (laughs) says, this guy's a pedophile. (laughs) Yeah, no, he likes to have fun. He's a pedophile. You know, Doesn't that quote say he likes beautiful women like me or something like that? It says he likes beautiful women as much as I do. Some of them on the younger side. That seems more like he's implicating himself. No, it sounds like he likes beautiful women as much as I do. There's nothing wrong about Donald Trump vying for 19-year-olds. They're adults. Right, sure. You know? You look, you're over 18, grab him by the pussy. Who gives a shit? That's <laughs> right. a grown woman. Right. Well, I don't know about that. The second part, <laughs> if you look at the causality of the sentence. Ah, the, clau- uh, the causality. The causality. <laughs> the causality. The cla- Let's get into some causality. <laughs> the causality of the, the sentence. Clause- <laughs> <laughs> he says after that. Mm, so a lot of the, your defense is hinging on that comma. Is the comma. Yes. <laughs> it's also, I mean, yeah, if you read enough stuff, you, you can see it clear as day that Clear as a bell. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump is just bringing. I mean, he gets Donald elected, Trump and he gets elected and JFK Jr. When he right? said, he said, you know, lock her up, right? Now, what do you think that's going to be for the email thing? Don't be stupid. You're right. He's going to bring down this fucking whole house of cards. <laughs> it's going to take. Day now. It's going to take two terms, <laughs> which he will be reelected. Two terms, yes. eight years, eight yeah, full yeah. years. I, I I thought you know a lot of people thought maybe the podcast like we get in the primary season we're going to go hard for Bernie and it's like. Bernie would be nice, but it's a pipe dream. Yeah. yeah. Bernie's you know? being sabotaged. Well, we have to say that that is Hillary work. Clinton being jailed and executed. Jailed and, and well, her crimes okay, maybe against this, children. Maybe, and executed so Jesus can maybe, come back. Maybe <laughs> Trump. <so it's, laughs> I mean, Free that's Jimmy a, Buffett that's of his burden and bring want. Jesus, Trump bring Jesus back to life. You migrant the, kids. You want us all to be lifted up powerful Americans. The pedophile elites. Yeah. And and the pedophile priests are all burning in hell while the rest of us. Are liberated from Hillary. Clinton. No, dude. I think Ad, did you hear? I think Adam's onto something. Trump right now. Trump is saving the this migrant. This is like kids. at the end of Dark Knight, where Batman's 
his public image is a villain, mm-hmm. right? Because he knows that's what they the people need. He has to Trump be Trump. The, the hero found out need. that Jeffrey Epstein was going to rape all those migrant children. Mm-hmm. So what does he do? Keep them safe. He at keeps the them safe in a nice cage where they're <laughs> shitting themselves under an aluminum blanket, laying on a concrete floor wow. where they can be safe. Wow, what a guy! What a good dude. Honestly, sucking a dick and having sex and sucking a penis <laughs> and killing a child <laughs> and getting on my knees to pray to Moloch. <laughs> <laughs> Big Al statue <laughs> For kids I'll kill you <laughs> I can't wait to drink their blood <laughs> Oh, I love the Antichrist <laughs> Her name is Hillary Rodham Clinton <laughs> She's the Anti <laughs> Without question, <laughs> everyone knows she's the Antichrist. <laughs> That's why Hillary killed God. She killed God. <laughs> <laughs> Personally. Yeah. She killed God. <laughs> but you know what Isaac is? What's that? Isaac is the, the, the sum of, of enlightenment knowledge, our understanding of the material world of science and technology and... You know, an understanding of how this world that we have right. is, is, you know, like, it seems to make sense. Mm-hmm. And, and you, know, I, you know, you say life seems meaningless, but for the most part, life is pretty good in the modern world, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, our, our needs are mostly met, for, for the most part. There's, like, some things that suck, like health care, but you probably could, like, you know, you'd be, like, destroyed by debt or whatever. Sure. I mean, but in the grand scheme of things, right? Compared to being a fucking villain, compared to a, a 200 surf, years yes. ago, compared to yeah, being yeah. you know getting a paper cut in 1590 and mm-hmm. then you didn't just die because you're still wiping your ass with your hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, being executed because you didn't give a lord enough radishes that month. Yeah. So Isaac is this this beautiful life that we have mm-hmm. in the, in the secular scientific world, and we need to bring that life to the mountain and kill it. Mm-hmm. And once we're ready to accept. That this yeah, is all bullshit. we have to kill science. We have to kill science. Okay, <laughs> but God won't actually make us kill science. No, but God will say you need to be ready to do it. We have it. to be that stupid. God that will we don't send even understand the angel it. Gabriel, yeah. and we have to have total faith. Nice. You have to, mm-hmm. you have to be ready to put to get rid of all of your understanding of the world, of anything, of of how things work, of like this path you think you're on that, you know, I mean, just even like the basics, like your ascension through the middle class, maybe buying a house and having a family, Mm -hmm. the normal life that you feel entitled to, you need to be willing to throw all that aside Mm -hmm. and believe in QAnon (laughs) (laughs) and that Hillary Clinton is the Antichrist. And when you're ready to do that. And Donald Trump and 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 JFK Jr. are the saviors. And as you elevate yourself to do that, Mm God will be reborn because mm-hmm. we'll, we will have right. absolute faith once again. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he will return to s- destroy Hillary Clinton. <laughs> 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 to, to rape so and murder Hillary like she deserves. <laughs> and so not, I don't mean a person. No, That's not a threat. I'm saying Hillary God will do it. And this yes. is obviously this is a grand battle where Hillary takes on her reptilian form and they of battle course. it out on the moon. Yes, you we're not. You're thinking of a nice, you know, sweet old lady fighting God. No, yeah. this is a, a 42 foot, half tarantula, half lizard uh-huh. with spikes and venom that will be trying to sting God. Well, and God will be ripped, and that's yeah, that's the plan, guys. Um, so as always, if you want T-shirts, you can go to come. <laughs> <laughs> We got some T-shirts for sale up there at Come Town. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get my T-shirt business going here. Buy our boy shirts. He's making great fucking designs day after day. It really, it's nice. It gives me something to do. If you think about it like a charity where you're helping a retarded guy uh, not stay up worrying about this kind of stuff. <laughs> right, right, right. All night long. Um, I'm dedicated to quality products mm-hmm. and f- customer service. <laughs> I would love if you had to run like a mom and pop shop. I basically do. Yeah. I mean, I deal with like order issues all day long. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like in person, you're wearing a little apron. If it was my store, I'd probably it would be fine. I that could would be run cute. if I could move up to Vermont once. Once. Yeah. I, was grand about, battle, I was thinking about moving. Yes, when the grand battle commences. Yeah. I was thinking of moving upstate for good. 
Well, no, I have like a car. I'll come in and do the pod. Yeah, that would be no, awesome. No, it's nice, dude. Yeah, that's that like move to like Woodstock, New York. I'm well, moving back thing. to Baltimore. I'm taking the Amtrak. I want to get all the move. There's no reason to come back to New York to do. The I mean, pop. like if you guys that's are here true. and we're doing the show here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kind of don't want to be in. New we York. will find. We will triangulate a place. I'll be in Baltimore. You'll be in Woodstock. You'll uh, where where will you be? Roanoke, Virginia. <laughs> yeah, that is where crazy people move. Yeah, yeah. That is kind of the place you go where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to start a race war. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <clears throat> buy Nikki shirts. Come see us uh, on the 22nd next week at Funny Moms. Uh, come see me this week at the stand and every Tuesday, Fat Tuesdays, 830 at the stand. And also I got some uh, dates coming up. I'm in Rochester on the 3rd, Boston the 16th and 17th. Oakland on the 24th, Seattle and Portland on the 29th and 30th, et cetera, et cetera. Adam will be in lookout for him in L.A. and where? SD. SD. Dates getting finalized, but buy tickets for that. Yeah, yeah. They should, I'll, I'll post about <coughs> it on Twitter. Um, I, that's going to do it. Prepare yourselves. Later. 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 Later.